Now I'm going to transfer three portions, which I've already done for two flasks, of 10 milliliter of the diluted vinegar and put them in these flasks and then do a titration with our standardized sodium hydroxide. So uh, I've already transferred two 10 ml portions, but I wanted to do the last 10 ml with you so you can see the process. My pipette is already clean, rinsed, conditioned with the solution. So I'm going to um, bring it to the eye level. Make sure that I have exactly meniscus lined up with the line of the 10 milliliter. And then I'm going to get any hanging drops out and transfer the 10 ml into the flask. So there it is. I'm just letting it drain. The tip of the pipette is touching the side of the flask and that's how you transfer the volume. And so there is my three 10 milliliter portion of diluted vinegar. My sodium hydroxide is already in my burette at 0, 0.00 mark. So let's start with our first titration. And for all of these titration, I need to have my indicators. So I'm going to add my indicator, so I won't forget that. And so we have three titrations. Before we start, uh, again, water quantity doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that all of my acid is at the bottom. And so I'll rinse all of the flasks before I start. And because I'm starting with 10 milliliter, all these portions are the same. Therefore, I expect the sodium hydroxide volume to be the same. So let's see how close they are. So getting closer but still away even with mixing the pink stays on so I'm going to slow down now all right looks like the first titration is done so record the volume i'll wash the sides I may have gone a little over but again we'll average these molarities anyway so let's go ahead and have you record this volume oops it's up here there it is Okay, this is for titration number one. And I'm going to record this volume myself. So titration one. And now we are ready to do our second titration. So we're going to be filling the burette back up with sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to be very carefully without talking so this is my sodium hydroxide before I start the titration I have to make sure the level the volume is at zero zero okay now we're ready for titration number two 
So all these volumes should be roughly the same. So I'm going to pour in roughly it was 17 something the previous volume. So I'm going to pour in 17 milliliters and then go drop by drop after that. So it'll be a lot quicker. Okay, there's my 17. The color should go away, which it did. So now, oops, I'm going to add very slowly. Okay, looks like I got it. This is a good end point, so again, wash the hanging drop. And let's see what volume we got. So please record this volume. Okay, I'm going to record this myself. So there's the second volume or second titration. Now we have to do the same thing over again. One more titration, but before we start, let's fill our sodium hydroxide. Adjusting the titrant volume to zero, so I don't have to subtract anything. And now doing your third titration. Remember, 17 milliliter goes right in. Now I'm going to do the rest drop by drop. Color should go away, which it did. Okay, looks like we got it. Washing the hanging drop. There's a good end point. So let's have you record this volume. All right, now we have three titrations. So we're going to work with these three volumes. And I'm going to record my volume two. And then we can calculate our molarity of uh, original vinegar solution and percent composition by mass.